it's been a long time since we've had a playoffs that uh, the, well, it's, in fact, it's the second time since the NBA began seeding for the playoffs by conference in 1973 that neither number one seed has made the conference finals. But you had some great basketball over the weekend. Certainly what happened with uh, the Atlanta Hawks, with Philadelphia. Philadelphia is more interesting just because I don't know what we're going to see next year. What's that lineup going to look like? And if you're Philadelphia, based off of some of the comments, post-game comments here, they got a big decision to make with Ben Simmons. Here is Joel Embiid on the turning point of the game yesterday. I don't know how to say it, um, but I thought the turning point was just, you know, we had uh, an open shot and, you know, we missed, uh, we made one free throw and uh, we missed the other and then they came down and scored uh, and uh, we didn't get a good pos- uh, possession on the other end and Trey came back and he made a three and then from there uh, down four uh, and then I go, I, uh, he's on me, I turn the ball over uh, and try to you know, make something happen uh, from the perimeter. Um, and, um, but uh, I thought that was a turning point. What he's talking about is Ben Simmons was posting up low, had an opportunity to go up for a dunk, and the only person standing in his way was Trey Young. And barely in his way. Ben Simmons is 6'10". He passed it. He passed it off. And this is really a microcosm here of Ben Simmons in the fourth quarter. He didn't make it. He didn't make a field goal in the fourth quarter. The last four games, barely attempted shots in the fourth quarter. You're shooting under forty percent from the free throw line. Here's Doc Rivers being asked if he thinks he can win a championship with Ben Simmons as his point guard. Doc, do you think Ben Simmons can, can still be a point guard for, for a championship team like the one you guys want to become? Yeah, David, I don't know that question or the answer to that right now. You know, so I don't know the answer to that. When you, uh, when you say get in the gym with him, what, uh, what needs to be done? I mean, obviously, this is, this is coaching. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's, that's between Ben and I. Wow. It's not between Ben and I, not now. Not after that comment, because now everybody's going, wait a minute. Can you win with him as your... See, to me, Ben Simmons was never a great player. I think we thought he was a great player. You know, coming out of high school, one and done at LSU. Oh my gosh, he's another Magic Johnson. You know, maybe he's a Lamar Odom Magic Johnson kind of player. Well, he's not that. And I think he would be better served to play the role of a Draymond Green. Draymond Green plays defense. He can hit a couple of timely shots. He rebounds. He uh, leads the team in assists. But you don't expect him to be your go-to guy. Ben Simmons is really a third guy. And maybe a fourth guy on a really good team. The expectation level is so high for him. And now there's almost a sadness or you feel sorry for him. You know, Markel Fultz forgot how to shoot and had to leave Philadelphia, went to Orlando and sort of revitalized a career here. I don't know what you get for Ben Simmons. I don't know who's going to want Ben Simmons. But if you, if it's almost like he needs to go to a team that doesn't have great expectations, that you don't expect them to win. Therefore, he can kind of figure out who he is as a player. Because I don't know if he knows. And you could see he was just very tentative. You can't be tentative in sports. But this is going to be a long off season for Ben. And I think just trying to figure out who he is and what he needs to do. Here's uh, Ben Simmons meeting with the media on this off season. Ben, Doc said there's work to do, and you, he and you need to get into the gym. What do you think the work is that needs to be done and, I guess, prioritized? Is it free throw shooting? Is it being more aggressive? Is it perimeter shooting? What is it in your game that you think you need to improve first? I think all of it. You hit on all of it. Uh, I ain't shoot well from the line this series. Offensively, I wasn't there. I ain't doing enough for my teammates. 
there's a lot. There's a lot of things I need to work on. Yep. Confidence is a big thing here. And form. It this is really it, it it's it's simple in diagnosing it. It's not going to be simple to overcome it. If you watch him shoot, you can't shoot with your elbow out. He's got to he's got to clear that up, clean that up, and shoot more with the arms straight up instead of out because out is horrible form. I've been saying it since he was at LSU. It almost looked like he's a right-handed player who's learning to shoot left-handed. But I don't know if you can bring him back. I really don't. And by the way, to the reporter, don't ask a question and then answer the question. How about you just say, Doc said, what do you need to work on? Just a small suggestion there. Yes, McLovin. Do you think the Sixers could get like a Zach Levine or like, I mean, Bradley Beal behind? Is there any way they can package Simmons? Will any like sort of lower level team be interested in? Yeah, but why, why, why do we always look at the team that you like and say, boy, they could get Zach Levine? <laughs> That means Chicago has to go, hey, we'll take Ben Simmons. Yeah, but Chicago seems to have a love-hate relationship with Zach Levine. Like, it'd be almost like two detriments. You know what? I love Zach Levine, and I'd hate to lose him. That would be my love-hate relationship if I'm the Bulls. He averaged 27 a game. Like, you know, come on. So, okay, I'm, I won't even bring up Lillard or Steph Curry. No, 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 don't do that. Steph Curry tweeting some nice things about his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and it, and it cost the GM some money there. 